West New Britain is the second province in the New Guinea Islands region after Manus. Government officials and other stakeholders were present to witness the landing. Governor Francis Maneke says amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, the occasion is a uplifting moment for West New Britain people. Maneke says the improved internet service will be of value to all sectors. We're excited to, to be partner as a province, partnering data core as a, a very important uh, uh, institution that is providing this facility for us. And we, with the partnership arrangement that has been established, we give we gave a uh, 200,000 to make sure that the connections are done after this uh, launching is, uh, uh, the, the cable landed. The West New Britain provincial government wants to see this rolled out into rural areas of Biala and south coast of the province. Upon landing on the shores of San Remo Beach, the cable was tested by officers from the Malaysian-based subcontractor Optic Marine Services. Dataco engineers say the cable is designed following studies of the marine bed in 2016. You got lightweight protection and then lightweight. All right. So am I changing size blue end or changing coating or protection layer blue end? Mm. Why? Because you don't need to protect him the deep sea water the same cable because you're not going to see And we tumble at him at 6,000, 7,000 um, feet. Uh, sorry. With landings in Wiwek, Manus, Vanimo and Medang, the project is now in the NGI region. Datako says these are efforts to make PNG become a communication hub in the Pacific region as the Kumul submarine cable network project continues to roll out in the country. Look at that uh, in, 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 in uh, con comparison to small businesses within town. I think they struggle with that kind of, you know, and uh, having a monopoly in, in the country doesn't help business at all. And so we, we're grateful that uh, the government is coming uh, to our rescue. Jack Lepava Jr., National MTV News.